Hi, this is Randy Whitehouse for SGA Varsity and SunJournal.com, and we are at Griffin Field, which is the former home of the Livermore Falls Andes, but is now the home of the Spruce Mountain Phoenix, which is the combined Livermore Falls and Jay High School team. Uh, the high schools technically aren't combined yet, but the athletic teams are. That includes a football team, which is playing in the Campbell Conference Class B. A lot of people are expecting the Phoenix to immediately be contenders in Western B. And we talked to Coach Mark Bonnevie and a couple of players about their prospects for the upcoming season. Yeah, I mean, this definitely has generated a lot of excitement. Um, you know, it's something that, you know, if you've been around for a while, you know, it's been talked about forever, um, you know, about the two football teams going together in sports in general. But the football teams, you know, it's always been, you know, imagine if this line was with those backs and you know, imagine if that year they were together and you know now that it's happened you know everyone's kind of just you know excited about the see to see what you know what it will become you know i just can't wait every time we step on the field i get all these butterflies because it's all new challenges this year i haven't seen half these kids play so it's like you know what are they going to bring to the table and what are we going to do to stop it and, this year, I just see it as you know we got to play together and we just have to execute these games. Yeah, it's a lot different with all the all the guys. I mean, we've never had a team this big, so just doing simple things like getting through drills is a lot different. It's uh, but it's fun though. It's been really exciting. I think you know we're definitely on the right track. Everybody's together. I mean, nobody's really talking to Jay Livermore. It's just we're Spruce Mountain now. Got to focus on that. This year, it's all a new learning process for everyone. So I think if we help each other out, which we have so far, things are going to work out good. So. The interest has been great. Um, you know that that turnout, obviously, to have 60 plus kids running around is, is nice to see. It's great to see that everyone's interested, in, you know, in it and staying with it. You know, everyone stayed with it so far since the start. And you know, as far as practices go, it's it's really different for us uh, because we've been practicing with you know 25 the last few years and. It's definitely changed, you know, our, our, the way we, we have practiced. We have to be pretty creative, try to keep guys as busy as possible because we don't want them standing around the whole time. And, uh, but it's a good problem to have. I think the community's expectations are, are high. But for us uh, in the team, we're just taking it one game at a time. And we're uh, just, our expectations are to play together and do what coach says and do everything right. And we'll be successful. All the egos are gone. Yeah. I mean, we all just want to do good this season and yeah. show our communities what we can do. It's fitting that the combination of Jane Livermore Falls chose the name ending in X for their nickname because the Phoenix will be an X factor in the Campbell Conference. There are many who believe the Phoenix can instantly compete in Class B. We'll find out right away because three of their first four games are against 2010 playoff teams Falmouth, Mountain Valley, and Wells. They will run the spread offense, Bonnevie Arena J, and is in the capable hands of quarterback Zach Bonnevie. Five foot four, 165 pound senior Bill Calden, a speedy hard runner, is the leading returning rusher, and he'll run behind a deep, experienced line that could be very good once it gels. In fact, the depth is so good on both sides of the ball that Bonnevie expects to have a lot of players playing one way, an unheard of luxury at Jay and Livermore Falls. The defense is going to be physical and fast. The Phoenix are an unknown in their conference, but the conference is an unknown to them.